We are three days away from the Marine Corps Air Station Cherry Point Air Show, and final preparations are still going on for the event. That's right. Not on your sides. Gabby Sartori has a look at this weekend's festivities. This Saturday and Sunday, the air show is taking flight in front of crowds from all over North Carolina. The Blue Angels will be the future performance this year, along with other civilian and military performances. But before pulling off the biggest air show in eastern North Carolina, it's up to the team who gets the early preps in order to get things going. Our staff has been at work for this for well over a year now. We we put in our first application for the Blue Angels after our 21 air show and started working with the teams to, to start preparing the air show and preparing the, the base itself. Performances include ones up in the air with blips and tricks, as well as races between jet planes and jet trucks. We've got 18 different acts that are going to take to the skies this weekend. Um, and the big question everybody asks is which one's going to win, the jet truck or the jet? And uh, uh, crowd favorites always the uh, Marine Air Ground Task Force demonstration, which uh, concludes with the wall of fire. Education is a big focus for this year's activities, including ways to make it more inclusive for local students. On Friday, we're going to do STEM Day. In STEM Day, we're going to bring in about 1,600 sixth graders from uh, the local uh, counties, and they're going to see about 40 different exhibitors uh, to get them excited about science, technology, engineering, and math. Nardi Rudin, a Creekside Elementary teacher and Southeast Regional Teacher of the Year, got to fly with the Blue Angels Wednesday. Damar says that getting members of the community involved makes it all worth it. Doing an air show on a military base is a wonderful opportunity for us to open the doors to the local community, to invite everybody on, to give them an opportunity to see what it is that we do and what we're able to provide. Those performers will have a chance to practice for the next two days leading up to the air show. I'll be here in Cherry Point giving you an exclusive look of that and, of course, coverage from the show this Saturday and Sunday. In Craven County, Abby Sartori, 9 on your side.